Well, Mr. Lada, you have been a very strong believer in economic cooperation, um, common infrastructure and co-investment. And you have also said that those not only bring better economic cooperation, but also peace. So can you further elaborate on that? Of course, you can never exclude conflicts between economies that cooperate, but it's a fact of life, it's a fact of history that when I was referring to the European integration, the bold step was after the Second World War to say we will merge the French and the German economy. We will merge the economy of these two nations that have been fighting very terrible wars over the recent past, in the 19th century, the two world wars, mm -hmm. where the main blocks was Germany, Prussia and, and France. And so the bold step after the Second World War was to say we will merge coal and steel and starting from that, we will create synergies between the economies and then came the free movement, free movement of capital and goods, uh, free movement for people. And so, uh, I think, once again, when you integrate the economies, when you make it possible for people in their daily lives to experience all the benefits of uh, open borders, of more possibilities, more uh, access, more chances to, for their enterprises, for their children to, to learn, to go to schools, to exchange in the culture field, I think you build lasting peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There have been ongoing talks about the weakening of uh, strategic autonomy within the EU, especially after the Ukraine crisis broke out. And some of the European leaders, including French President Emmanuel Macron, have been calling for a boost of uh, this autonomy within NATO. What's your take on that? I think that Mr. Macron is right. And so we should um, make sure that we ourselves, Europe within the NATO alliance, or less dependent of the American support to um, protect our security, protect our societies when there is a conflict. Europe is a, a small continent surrounded by instability. We should not rely on the US to protect our security. We should uh, be able to do it ourselves and this means to invest a little bit more in the means and the tools that you need to uh, safeguard security.